I just made a huge mess. Um, <laughs> just a sec. So I completely lost one, so I kind of had to go and um, break apart a DIY already done. So I'm going to show you a DIY little treat toy for your hamster. And yes, this is my first video. I might do a welcome to my channel as my second video, which tends to be the first. But basically, my name is Allie. I have a hamster named Pierce. He lives in a 20 gallon, and I'm going to do hamster care videos. Um, I'm also filming on my phone, which is horrible, and it's just not going to look the best, so don't judge me for that. But let's get right started. So the supplies you are going to need is some treats, uh, okay, so and nesting material, which is optional. You don't have to use it. But these are just some of my treats. Um, I got the nesting material. But those are mine. Um, and um, some toilet paper rolls. And a pair of scissors. So here we go. Um, the first one is actually super easy. All you're going to do, actually I have one that I can show you. So let me get it. It should turn out looking something like this. This one was like actually my first one to test out if this worked. Because I was like trying to figure out one. And my friend had told me to do this one time. So um, yeah, this was my first try. But it just has some treats in it. Actually, I think all the treats are gone. Pierce, okay. But yeah, um, so we're going to start off with that one. And the way you're going to do this is you're going to cut off pieces um, about this big. They're not very large. I mean... But make sure, well actually fold it first, um, this way, so it's like looking like that. And then you're going to want to cut off like this. You're not going to want to cut this way, because that won't work, but ooh, you just want a bunch of hoops. So if you're doing this with me, pause the video and um, do the whole tube, because that's what I'm going to do. So when you are completed, you should have a bunch of rings looking like this. Um, oh, and by the way, I'm not editing these, these just kind of are going to suck. So, um, basically, um, these are going to be great for your hamster to chew through. Pierce doesn't like them as much, but, um, out of all of these, these are probably his favorite. Um, so basically you're just going to make an X shape with your first two. And it doesn't matter which size you choose, but then you're going to keep going over like so. Just, uh, okay. And you're going to keep, like, pressing down in the middle like that. And so far, this is what I have. And you're just going to want to keep going and going and going until you have something cool looking um, that you can show off to all of your hamster loving friends. So I'm going to finish with that and you should have something cool. So I didn't actually use all of my rings because I thought this looked good, but um, you can always do it tighter, but I find it easier for the hamster to get into this way. And um, it works awesome. Um... Basically, what you're going to do is you should have gaps in between, and you're just going to take your treat. I'm going to take a little um, carrot-like treat that he enjoys, and we're just going to put it right in there for him to get to. And then I'm also going to put a sunflower seed, because those are his favorite. So, um, then I'm going to like close it up a bit better again. So, yeah. Mine got a little bit messy, but it'll still work. So don't worry if you don't get it right on the first try, because it is a little hard. Um, and if you mess up, and like, you know, whatever, you have a Rubik's Cube, basically, to try to fix. So, um, this will still work fine. Pierce will enjoy nimbling on it. So, yeah, on to the next one. So this next one is actually for nesting, and um, what I use for my nesting material is toilet paper because it honestly in my opinion works the best so if you are using toilet paper just shred it however you do your shreds i do really small ones um and like medium ones i don't ever do large ones but like that's a medium one so yeah so i tend to give him a lot but um you don't have to do this much you can do as much as you want i'm actually going to do this much and all you're going to need is once again a toilet paper too, but you won't need your scissors this time. So all you're going to do is take your nesting material or whatever you're using, um, and I'm adding treats as well, so I'm going to add one of these, and I'm going to place that in there with some seeds for him to numb on, um, and um, then all you're going to do is take the edges, and you're going to fold inward like so. 
I'm gonna fold inward, and then on the other side, you're gonna do this. Oh no, this is messed up. That's not good. So, um, fold inward, and. Ugh, it doesn't wanna do it. Fold inward. I'm not having good. Okay, whatever. It looks okay. <laughs> it's probably because I've already done some crafts with this, but, like, let me show you what it should look like. Like, on this one, it'll work better. It should look something like that. Like. So, yeah. It'll work better if you haven't already used it, but you know what? This is still enclosed, and I'm okay with it. So now on to the third one. This one is just a toy that is honestly my favorite thing ever. I think I actually have it, and I'll go see if I can find it. Well, I can't find it, and that's kind of weird because I also had another toy that I like. Wait, wait, I actually might not work. So this isn't the one I'm doing, but if you do want to do this one, it's actually really simple. Um, all you do is take one paper towel tube and you cut a hole in it, just like a good size, and you're gonna wanna cut like this, so they don't meet and it doesn't cut all the way, but this will give your hamster room. And then basically you just shove another tube in, and if you want to, you can cut a hole in, you don't have to, but I did, so. This is the one we're gonna be making. Um, and Pierce loves to climb on this, it's kinda like a ladder. It doesn't work super well, I wouldn't say, but it's good for having them climb on. Pierce loves it because you can go inside of it. Um, so I'm going to show you how you do that. So basically, you're going to need scissors again. And um, I folded mine. So what you're going to do is take it, and you're just going to, you can cut as small of holes as you want, but you're going to do this, something like that. And then um, cut upwards, like so, if it'll go in. Uh, uh. And then just cut. So that'll create kind of like a ladder feel. And then you can fold it up however you want. And that should create a ladder. You can either do it up this way or this way. Either way, they will be able to climb on it, you know. So, um, I'm going to finish doing that. You're just going to redo these steps until you're done. So, yeah. So, in the end, you should have something like this. Um, it actually looks like the same as my other one. Um, but at the top, it kind of, like, fell apart a little when I was cutting. But that's okay. He can still climb on it. And I'm sure he'll enjoy this one as much as he enjoys the other one. So, um, I hope you enjoy this video. Please comment what you want me to do next. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Um, and... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, comment down below what you want me to do next. Make sure to like this um, and subscribe. I don't know why I pointed over there. But yeah, click the red button down there and subscribe. Bye.